Good morning, my dear students. Today, I am going to discuss tricks to solve neat questions. Under this heading, the unit is equilibrium. I am Dr. R. Gunasthekaran, Professor of Chemistry, who is taking class for you. So, under the equilibrium, if you want to solve all the questions, so what are the topic you have to study first? So let me explain what are the topic you have to give importance. Number one, types of equilibrium you have to study. Heterogeneous, homogeneous, reversible, irreversible, like that you have to study. The next law of mass action and its application. That is, determination of Kc and Kp and its application. Lee Chatelier principles. Under this, factors affecting equilibrium we have to study. Next, theory of ionization, specifically Arrhenius theory. The next, acid-based theories. Under this, there are three theories, Arrhenius theory, Lowry and Blanchard theory, and Lewis theory, which is modern theory. The next one, Oswald dilution law, you have to study. The most important next unit, subtopic, common ion effect, you have to study. Then, ionic product of water, pH and pOH, how to determine problem solving method, you must study. And also you must know about ionization of polybasic acid, polyacidic bases you have to study. Hydrolysis of salts, salt of strong acid, strong base, strong acid, salt of strong acid, weak base, salt of weak acid, strong base, salt of weak acid, weak base. Then buffer solutions you have to study. Types of buffer solution, hindrance and equation you have to study under this. Finally, Solubility products, solubility and solubility product and indicators, types of indicator and selection of indicators in a suitable titration you have to study. So these are the topics. If you study, then only you can able to answer all the questions from equilibrium. So let me go for the questions now. Discussion of tricks to solve questions. Let me start now. The question number one. Let me read this question was asked in the NEET 2017. Let me read the question first. The equilibrium constant of the following are N2 plus 3H2 reversible arrow 2NH3 which is the equilibrium constant K1. N2 plus O2 reversible arrow 2NO equilibrium constant K2. H2 plus O2 reversible arrow reversible arrow water K3 please follow so now question is the equilibrium constant of the following reaction so they have given a reaction for this they are asking what is that 2 NH3 plus 5 by 2 O2 Reversible arrow 2NO 3H2O will be that is K will be they have given four options. Options are A equal to K2 Q K to the power of Q K3 divided by K1 B equal to K1 K2 to the power of 3 and K divided by K2 C K2 K3 to the power of 3 divided by K1 and D, K2, K3 divided by K1. So how to identify this answer? Because from these three values, you have to arrive the equilibrium constant for this reaction. How we have to arrive? Let me explain, kindly follow. So this question was asked under equilibrium, subtopic equilibrium constant. So let me come for the tricks, kindly follow. So, first it is given already 3. Kindly follow. It is given just to compare this equation with this equation. What is the main difference? Just see. 2 and H3, it is okay. Agreed. 2 and O, it is there. Agreed. 
but water it is only H2O but here three H2O. So that means in this equation you have to write three K three. Please follow. That is the three K three means you have to think of the three H2O. It is given so K three into three. Kindly follow. That is the meaning of that one. So for this equation. Please follow. According to equilibrium constant, I am writing equilibrium constant. What is ratio of concentration of the product divided by ratio of the concentration of the reactants? So N O squared into H two O cube divided by N H three squared divided by O two five by two. So I know simply I am now substituting what is N O two from the equation K one. Kindly follow. The, that is for n to h three. So here n o squared where it is, it is the here n o to square is the second one. So I am putting k two. Kindly follow. Then coming for the second is h two o three here h two k three. Though so that the I correspondingly h three o cube means k cube k three o cube. That is k three to the power of three. I am writing. And divided by N H three, it is given K one, so K one. So this is not involved in this. So I need not worry about that. So I have derived this equation for K. See, very very simple tricks. So from this we are arriving this. Kindly follow. So there are four options will be given. You have to find out where is K two into K three to the power of Q by K one. Option is kindly follow. C is the correct answer. Please follow. C is the correct answer. We have arrived already. Let me go for the next question. Question number two. Let me read now. This is asked in two thousand seventeen. Need two thousand seventeen. Which one of the following statement is not correct? Please follow. Is not correct. So there are four statements are given. You read and understand carefully, which is not correct. Number one, A, coenzyme increase the catalytic acti activity of enzymes. Okay, catalytic does not initiate reaction. Okay, the value of equilibrium constant is changed in presence of catalyst in the reaction at equilibrium. No, this is wrong. Kindly follow. This, this statement is wrong because equilibrium constant will not change. So this is the not correct. The next enzyme catalyzed mainly biochemical reaction. It is right. So very this is direct question. No thinking. Directly understanding concept. See. So now let us see the option now. So this is the question asked under the equilibrium, specifically equilibrium constant. So. Let me give uh, some information to you. That is, equilibrium is possible generally in a closed vessel. Please understand at a given temperature. So, whenever if you add a simple arrow, it is a open system. When it, whenever if you write the double arrow, it is a closed system. Equilibrium. Please follow the difference between two. Then equilibrium will be dynamic. When both forward and backward process occur in the same size, same rate. Number three, all the measurable properties of the system remain constant. Very very important characteristic. Then fourth, one of the parameter usually remain constant in equilibrium. And fifth, the magnitude of such quantity at any stage indicate the extent to which the reaction has. Proceeded before reaching equilibrium. This is regarding for the characteristic. Now coming for the questions, I, we have already discussed. So this is the correct answer. That means the value of equilibrium constant is change in the presence of catalyst at the reaction at equilibrium. No, the value of equilibrium constant is not change in the presence of catalyst in the reaction at equilibrium. So this is the correct answer. Question number three. Kindly follow. So this is a very interesting question. There are four calculation you have to do that. Kindly follow. Well, let me give now first one. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री आस्ट इन नीट टू थाउजेंड एटीन लेट मी रीड द क्वेश्चन फॉलोइंग सोल्यूशन वेर प्रिपेर बाय मिक्सिंग डिफरेंट वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड एंड डिफरेंट वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ एसीएल बोथ आर स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ऑफ डिफरेंट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन पी एच ऑफ वन ऑफ दम विल बी इक्वल टू वन दट इज प्लीज फॉलो पी एच ऑफ वन ऑफ दम इक्वल टू वन ऑप्शन सार थ्री फोर ऑप्शन वन सिक्सटी एम एल ऑफ एम बाई टेन एस सी एल प्लस फार्टी एम एल ऑफ एम बाई टेन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्सन मिक्सर टू फिफ्टी फाइव एम एल ऑफ टेन बाई एन टेन बाई एम बाई टेन एस सी एल एंड फार्टी फाइव एम एल ऑफ एम बाई टेन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सी सेवेंटी फाइव एम एल ऑफ एम बाई फाइव एस सी एल एंड प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एल ऑफ एम बाई फाइव सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड नंबर फोर हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ एम बाई टेन एस सी एल हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ एम बाई टेन सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड प्लीज फॉलो सो हाउ टू अप्रोच दिस क्वेश्चन क्लोज बिफोर दैट लेट मी गिव सम इंफॉर्मेशन टू यू कैंडली फॉलो एज यूजल दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑक्स टू अंडर दिपरियम स्पेसिफिकली पी एच कैली फॉलो so we must know what is ph you must know so for that we must know hydrogen ion concentration so hydrogen ion concentration only will be expressed in terms of ph so let me define hydrogen ion concentration hydrogen ion concentration is defined as number of gram ions or number of moles of h plus per liter of an aqueous solution is called hydrogen ion concentration For pure water at to 25 degree, hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the power of minus seven. Because in a neutral water, kindly follow. This is the most important. It will a small amount will be undergoing ionization. So we can write in this way. Kindly follow. H plus plus OH minus. If H plus is ten to the power of minus seven, then OH minus also ten to the power of minus seven gram ion per liter. This is we are going to discuss later cases ionic product of water. Let that we will discuss later. So temporarily you assume now H plus is equal to ten to the power of minus seven. Right? Okay. What is pH? So it is a unit we are the measuring unit. We have to know the concentration now. H plus. The pH of a solution is defined as the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration to the base ten. Please follow. So what is pH? pH equal to minus log H plus. That is the equation we need. We have to apply. What is H plus? H plus always should be expressed in terms of normality. Please follow. Suppose if it is given molarity, you have to convert into normality. Then only you have to apply. The, this should be you should be careful. What is normality? I have already discussed under the concentration. Let me add that is the basic concept. Let me explain. That is number of gram equivalent present in one liter of solution. That is normality. So pH is equal to minus log n value. So now we come for Our options. So each one I will calculate. Kindly follow seriously. This is the most important questions. So what is the option? A is 60 mL of m by 10. But please follow. M by 10 means we have to convert it to n because mono basic acid. Mono basic. This is the mono basic. Uh, mono basic acid. Mono acidic base. So m equal to n. So nothing but it is m instead of m equal to here always n. That's why we can take directly here. Please follow. This is one information tricks you must have it in mind. So that means I will write now. I am calculating in terms of millimole. What way? Sixty into point one. You one by ten, nothing but point one. So I am multiplying sixty by point one. Six millimole. Which one? SCL. Then come for sodium metroxide. Forty into point one. Four. So as it is F six. Base is four, so base will be neutralized. So six minus four, so only as it is present as two millimole. Kindly follow. So what is the total volume? Sixty plus forty, hundred. So two divided by hundred will give you the mole. Kindly follow molar solution. So it is nothing but point not two m. That is pH is equal to minus log 
it is 10 to the power that here 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 kindly follow 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 so this is not equal to 1 so this option neglected so let me go for the second case in the second case again as usual 55 into 1 by 10 point, 5.5 this is 45 into 0 0.1, 4.5. The difference is 1 millimole. So 1 by 100 is giving this molar. That is 0 0.045. Again, pH is equal to minus log 0 0.045. This is. So this is how way you can write 4.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2. So this is not also is equal to 1. So neglected. Then go for the C option, 75 ml of m by 5 and 25 ml of m by sodium hydroxide. I am calculating terms of millimole, volume into strength is 75 into 0 0.2, 15, 25 into 0 0.25. So 15 minus 5, 10, 10 by 100 is 1 by 10. 1 by 10 is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 1. So pH is equal to minus log. 10 to the power of minus 1. Please follow. 10 to the power of minus, log of 10 to the power of minus 1, nothing but, the, the kind of follow, the 1 by 10, automatically, so this is also negative, this is also negative, negative, negative 1, so that is equal to 1. pH is equal to 1. Please follow. Very, very easy. Kindly follow. So 1 by 10 means is it will go when you go upward 10 to the power of minus 1. So it is log of 1 minus into minus plus so it is 1. Very very easily you can. Coming for the D. So 100 ml here uh, 0.1, 100 ml 0.1 both getting neutralized. So not it's a neutral solution we cannot uh, um, pH will be 0. So correct option is that is this C is the correct answer. That is 75 ml of M by 5 SCL plus 25 ml of M5 sodium hydroxide will give the pH value 1. Please follow my dear students. This is the tricks you have to follow. Question number 4. Asked This question was asked in NEET 18. <coughs> Let me read the question first. The solubility product, solubility of barium sulfate in water is 2.42 to 10 to the power of 23 gram per liter at 298 Kelvin. Solubility. The value of solubility product KSP will be so given molar mass of barium sulfate is given 233 gram per mole. Molar mass is given. 233 gram per mole. So, what are the options? 8, 1.08 in 10 to the power of minus 14 mole squared per liter squared. B, 1.08 in 10 to the power of minus 12 10 to the mole squared per liter squared. C, 1.98 in 10 to the power of minus 10 mole squared uh, uh, the liter to the power of minus 2. And D, 1.98 into 10 to the power of minus 8 into mole square into liter to the power of minus 2. So there are four options are given here. Kindly follow. So we have to find out the correct answer. Before that, let me discuss now important information to you. Question as usual under the equilibrium unit. Product that is subtopic is solubility product. What is solubility? What is solubility product? What is the relationship? You must understand. Then only any question you can answer under this concept. Regularly they are asking question only on this. Let me explain the solubility and solubility product. When a saturated solution of sparingly soluble, that means only small amount will undergo solution. Sparingly soluble salt is in contact with the solid phase. There is an equilibrium between solid unionized and the ionized portion of the ions in solution. 
So specific example, silver chloride, we know it is a precipitate. When silver nitrate is treated with dilute HCl, immediately silver chloride will be precipitated. So it is insoluble water. If you take that sparingly soluble salt and put it into water, a very, very small quantity will undergo ionization. That only we are calling it as solubility. Please follow. So the, how can I represent here the silver chloride in solution? So in the ions, it is silver plus ion and Cl minus ion. Only very small amount getting ionized. So they are in equilibrium. So now I am going to speak about solubility product. What is solubility product? The solubility product is represented by KSP. is defined as the product of concentration of the ion in the saturated solution of a sparingly soluble salt. So this product is called KSP. KSP equal to, in this case, A plus into Cl plus. Tilepoly, in terms of the molar concentration, if you write A plus into Cl minus, that is the KSP. Tilepoly follow. This is the solubility product. So let me come now. So in this case, solubility product KSP is given as follows. KSP equal to C concentration of Ag plus into concentration of Cl minus. Generally speaking for a salt Ax, By. I am applying a general formula. This will be useful for you. Anything you can apply. Ax, By salt, solid, insoluble solid. You can write now. So X you write first. Then A to the power of Y plus. This is a cation aqueous. Then YB to the power of X minus aqueous. This is the general formula. You can apply for any salt using this one. That I am giving as a trick. So for now, so for this, this is the solubility product. What we have written just see. AY to the power of X. X will go to the upper. BX minus to the power of Y. So let me take a specific example. I will explain that and you can easily understand. Okay, before that, let me explain about the solubility and solubility product relationship. So, so far what I have given is ionic product I have explained. Suppose S is the solubility of the sparingly soluble salt, silver chloride in pure water, express gram moles per liter. Since the solution is very dilute, even when saturated, the salt is assumed completely dissociated and the concentration of ions are CAG plus equal to CCL minus, that is equal to S. S is the solubility. In this case, KSP equal to CAG into CCL minus, that is nothing but S square. S into Yes, S is the solubility of silver, S is the solubility of chlorine, so KSP equal to S square. Now, similarly, for another example, suppose magnesium, dioxide, magnesium hydroxide, how can we write here magnesium hydroxide? I can write like this, kindly follow, two times, arrow, magnesium 2 plus into OH 2 minus. See, kindly follow. So, this is the way we will write the ionic product. Kindly follow. Plus 2, that is will in the rate of KST. So, what I can now write? C concentration of Mg plus S COH minus is 2 times. So, 2S. Please follow. So, 2S to the power of 2. So, I can write now S. Yes, this is this is 2S squared. So that 2s squared, 4s squared and ds, 4s cube. Please follow. This is the most important tricks you have to understand. So, K, so KSP, if it is given, 4, the S will be asked. S is given, KSP will be asked. Now I will come for the problem. So our problem is barium sulfate. Barium sulfate I can write in the form of barium 2 plus SO4 to minus. Kindly follow. In this case, very simple. This is yes, this is yes. The value of yes is given already for 1. That is 1.04 point four ten to the power of minus 10. That is simply say 1 point. So whole square, nothing but 10 to the power 1 to 1 point not 8 into 10 to the power of minus 10. Mole square per liter square. Please follow. Mole square per liter square. This is the correct answer.
see the option now in the option c the correct answer 10th the power of minus 10 please follow very very easy question number 5 asked in neat 80 please follow which one of the following conditions will favor maximum formation of the products in the reactions a to gas plus p to gas reversible arrow x to gas delta h equal to minus x kg 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 means kilojoules options are a high temperature and high pressure b low temperature and low pressure c low temperature and high pressure and d high temperature and low pressure please follow let this is let me explain what topic and then explanation i will come back this is the topic equilibrium specifically subtopic lee chatlier prague principle please follow so we must know what is lee chatlier principle and its application then only you can answer this question let me explain what is lee chatlier principle the principle says if a system in equilibrium if a system in equilibrium, a chemical equation in equilibrium is subjected to a change in temperature, pressure or concentration, the equilibrium is shifted in such a way as to nullify the effect of the change. To nullify the effect of the change. In order to change the adding effect, the equilibrium is shifted either forward or backward. That is the Lee Chattel principle. Under this, there are six factors are commonly used to explain this, the corresponding, the, for, the forward or backward reaction to design. Kindly follow, one is effect of concentration. Number two, effect of volume. Number three, effect of pressure. Number four, effect of temperature. 5. Effect of catalyst and 6. Effect of inert gas. Among the 6, only first to 4 is most important. Please, Marlow. This is an exceptional case. Very rarely this may affect. So, commonly as per our high secondary level, you concentrate only these 4. Effect of concentration, effect of volume, effect of pressure, effect of temperature. Kindly follow. Now, I will come for our question. Please follow. See our explanation. So answer I have already given. Low temperature and high pressure. But you may not accept this concept. Because you have to understand this one. First let me take the concentration. Kindly follow. Yet, so whenever you are getting an equation like this under equilibrium. Immediately you have to predict the four fact, three factors. First one what is the delta N value. Second case, what is Kp and Kc relationship? You must know. Then third, this is a please follow tricks. Then you must know what is the delta H value. Is it is a plus or minus? Only these three factors, if you know clearly, you can able to answer any question. Please follow. In this case, delta N, right side product one more, left side is... 2 more. So, product minus 1, it is minus 1. Kindly follow. Delta N equal to minus 1. Please follow. This is the interesting information. Second case, Kp and Kc. If delta N equal to 0, Kp equal to Kc. If delta N is not equal to 0, Kp is greater or lesser than equal. It is not equal to Kc. Kp is not equal to Kc. This is the important. Let me repeat again. Delta N equal to 0, Kp equal to Kc. Delta N is not equal to 0, Kp is not equal to Kc. So depending on the competition, Kp may be greater, Kc may be greater. That is the other condition. Now we will come for delta H value. Positive means endothermic, negative means exothermic. Okay. Now what we have to see here. Look out the equilibrium. So from the equilibrium, what we can assume, mole we can assume, this is one volume you can assume, 
This is one volume. This is one volume. This is one volume. Please follow my case. Pressure you cannot read from the stoichiometry. Volume you can see because one mole means 22.4 liter. If it is any gas, 22.4 liter. Again, if they, they have not given specifically it is AB2, they have unknown gas. So kindly follow what is the condition. Now here, effect of pressure and effect of pressure and volume, please follow will affect the equilibrium. Question is, which one of the following condition will favor maximum formation of product? That means the, 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 uh, the forward reaction should be favored. Forward reaction should be favored. Then only product formation. In which case it will be favored, kindly follow. So we are not changing the concentration. So it will not be useful. So only thing is here. Again, temperature is not given, so temperature is not useful. So, again, temperature is given, exothermic it is given, energy released, okay. Now, the most important is volume. Please follow. So, now what we can say now, so temperature we have given already, it is an exothermic negative. And it is given volume. When if it is volume, automatically we can understand the pressure also, because Higher volume, low pressure. Lower volume, high pressure. This is the relationship between. Okay. So let me take in, in, in terms of this one volume, one, one volume. So this is moving toward the X2. So it is an exothermic energy is released. Kindly follow. So high temperature and high pressure, one option. Low temperature and low pressure, another option. Low temperature and high pressure, another answer. So let me take now first. What is the, because the volume is not given. So we need not speak in terms of volume. We have to speak in terms of pressure. So let me consider only pressure. Please follow. In the four cases. So when high pressure if it is applied volume will less volume on by which case is right right hand side less product side less that means high pressure favor the product formation so what are the option now a is the high pressure and the c is the high pressure and b and c is not correct so only two options are there either a or c please follow based on pressure High pressure favors lower volume. So lower volume on the product side, so which is favoring the reaction. Another is temperature. So high temperature means decomposition will take place. So temperature will be low. So low temperature and high pressure will favor the maximum formation of product in the reaction. I hope I have given you a very clear idea. You can appreciate. Next. I'll go for the question number six. Again, this is again asked under the solubility product and pH correlated. This question is asked under the need 16. Uh, sorry, need 19. This question was asked. Let me read the question. pH of a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide is 9. The solubility product of calcium hydroxide is, please follow, they have given the pH, they are asking solubility product. Very, very interesting. Two different concepts, they are correlating. This is often asked in physics. So now, option A, 0 0.0125 in 10 to the power of minus 15. Point B, uh, B, 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 10. C, 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 15. D, 0 0.025 in 10 to the power of minus 10. So let me explain, kindly follow me. So this is again under the unit equilibrium based on solubility product and the pH value. So uh, these two things we have already discussed, so I need not explain again. So I will go directly to the question. First case for calcium hydroxide, how I can write the equation calcium hydroxide in, in equilibrium, calcium 2 plus 2 OH minus. For this, it is given POH equal to P9. Please, please follow pH plus POH equal to 14. This is the fact we know. 
so ph is given so but this is oh so we have to calculate poh so 14 minus 9 that is 5 so one answer we got poh equal to 5 that means oh minus ion concentration equal to 5 that means in terms of oh concentration 10 to the power of minus 5 please follow ph equal to 5 means the concentration is 10 to the power of 5 mole per liter. Now, just see the equation 2OH is there. So, 10 to the power of minus 5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 is the whole square. So, automatically that value should be 10 to the power of minus 10. What about calcium? It is half of OH. OH is 10 to the power of minus 5 by 2. So, that should be 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 5. So, kindly follow for OH, I am writing square 10 to the power of minus 10. For calcium, it is 10 to the power of minus 5 by 2. That is 1 by 2 in 10 to the power of this. So, 0.5 in 10 to the power of 5. So, simply multiply. Answer is 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 15 m. This is the corresponding. Kindly follow the solubility product. Solubility product. So, just see the option where it is. It is C, the correct answer. So, what an interesting question. Kindly follow. Let me go for the next question. Question is, seventh question. It is asked again in NEET 19, 2019. Let me read the question. Conjugate base for Bronsted acid H2O and HFR Actually given Bronsted, actually it's called Lowry and Bronsted. They have given only one name. Actually, strictly speaking, it is Lowry and Bronsted. They have not given a year. Strictly speaking, it is a Lowry and Bronsted theory. It is called. So let me say A, OH minus and F minus respectively. Conjugate base for the acid H2O and HF. So, according to this, H2O is an acid, HF is also an acid. So, corresponding base OH minus and F minus, respectively. B, H3O plus and H2F minus, respectively. C, OH minus and H2F plus, respectively. And H3O plus and F minus, respectively. So, this is the question. Now, let me go for the, as usual, the topic. This is under the equilibrium, specifically under Lowry and Bronson theory. I inform now, I introduce here Lowry and Bronson theory. Please follow to define an acid, any substance is an acid or a base. There are three theories are there. One is Arrhenius theory. Number two, Lowry and Bronson theory. Number three, Lewis theory. Lewis theory is the modern theory. So here let me concentrate only Lowry and Bronson theory. For other theories, you can refer my theory part. So let me define now. An acid is a substance which donates a proton to any other substance and a base is a substance which accepts a proton from any other substance. Please follow. Acid means it will donate proton. Base means will accept proton. Let me take a simple example of weak electrolyte, acetic acid and water. So this solution. So what is happening now? Acid is, do, it is comparatively water is donating H plus. So that H plus combining water forming H3O plus. And look at this leaving CH3CO minus. Now I am comparing these two. You compare H2O, H3O plus, you compare COIH and this. So this pair is called conjugate pair. Please follow, most important. This pair is called conjugate pair. That means the difference in H plus difference. The pair will be differed by H plus. Acetic acid and acetate ion difference in H plus. Water and H3O plus difference is H plus. But we know already this is acid mean the corresponding uh, the ion will be base, conjugate base. This is a base mean corresponding side. This is the conjugate acid. Why we are saying conjugate acid? Because it is donating H plus. Why we are calling conjugate base? Because it is accepting H plus. Please follow. This is the very, very interesting information. You must know, apply for any other thing. This is the basic idea you must have. 
let me give one more information so this strength kindly follow change in strength of any acid change in strength of any acid when medium changes is called a leveling effect so for example acetic acid in water hcl that is hcl in water automatically the the acidity will vary kindly follow thus hcl acts as a strong acid in water but acetic acid is a weak acid in acetic acid but as a weak acid in hcl acts as a strong acid in water but as same hcl will act as a weak acid in acetic acid so here medium is acetic acid both cases limitation it fails to explain acid base behavior in the case of a protic solvent what is meant by a protic solvent without containing proton example um, the sulfur dioxide liquid sulfur dioxide liquid carbon dioxide etc there are a number of solvent without the hydrogen is there okay let me come for the problem kindly follow now please understand now so i am writing the water in in this way uh, what we i am writing here kindly follow from this i am getting oh minus and the h plus same way h plus giving minus plus h plus kindly follow so in both cases h plus is there now what we are question is in water and h of they are and are calling acid they are asking what is the base so for water the base is oh minus conjugate base h of the base is f minus so a is the correct answer very very simple very very simple so if you write h2o what we will write h plus and f minus can you follow okay right so correct answer is a now question number 8 this is the question asked in 2019 question a let me read the question 8 which will make basic buffer please follow basic buffer a 100 ml of 0.1 mm cl 200 ml of 0.1 m ammonium hydroxide B 100 ml of 0.1 mcl plus 100 ml of 0.1 m sodium hydroxide. C 50 ml of 0.1 m sodium hydroxide and 25 ml of 0.1 m acetic acid. And D 100 ml of 0.1 m acetic acid plus 100 ml of 0.1 m sodium hydroxide. Kindly follow. So there are four options. So we have to find out in each case. in which case there the the buffer will be basic for that you need what is the buffer what are the types of buffer you must know let me say this is again coming under the equilibrium unit under the topic buffer solution so what is a buffer solution let me define now a buffer solution is one whose ph value remains constant even after addition of a small quantity of strong acid or strong base that is called buffer solution a buffer solution is one whose ph value remains constant does not affected even after the addition of a small amount of strong acid or strong base so one one that is a few dro uh, drops of hcl or sodium hydroxide if i add ph is not affected mean that is a buffer solution so there are three types of buffer this is the most important buffer solution one is acidic buffer basic buffer and amphoteric buffer let me explain what is acidic buffer please follow the tricks you must know only here yeah when any weak acid any weak acid and its salt of strong base and its salt of a strong base that means sodium acid is derived from what from acetic acid and sodium hydroxide so base is sodium hydroxide so this is called acidic buffer 
Second is basic buffer. Base is ammonium hydroxide, a weak base. And it is salt of strong acid, ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride is derived from ammonium hydroxide and HCl. This is second type. Third is amphoteric. That means it is neither basic nor uh, buff, uh, the, uh, acidic, it is neutral. I can say amphoteric. Both acidic as well as basic nature it will show. Normally proteins that is present in our body, that is polypeptide, peptide, amino acids. Finally, the final the specific example, the first member is glycine. Amino, that is amino acetic acid. One amino acetic acid. So how we can write in this way? We will write in the form of sweeter ion or dipolar ion. I have already informed you. NH3 plus CH2 COO minus. Please follow. This is sweeter ion or dipolar ion. So please have it in mind. Let me go for the question now. So acidic buffer Kindly follow example acetic acid and sodium acid. Basic buffer, ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. Because here given there is no amphoteric buffer. So I am keeping this is for, for our information. Kindly take now the correct answer is A. Let me explain why A is the correct answer. 100 ml of SCL I am taking. Please follow. 200 ml of ammonium hydroxide, I am taking 0.1 m. So what will happen? 100 ml of SCL will be neutralized. So what will happen now? SCL reacts with ammonium hydroxide to produce ammonium chloride and water. Please follow. So what is happening in the resulting solution? All the ammonium hydroxide is neutralized. Sorry, all the ammonium hydroxide base is neutralized. What interrupt that? What is that? Remaining 100 ml of unneutralized ammonium hydroxide is there. The ammonium chloride is also there. So, a weak base and a salt of strong, that is strong base, strong acid, it is there. So, this is the basic buffer. Kindly follow. Let me repeat again. Kindly follow. So, there is 100 ml here, 200 ml. This is less. This is so this under ml neutralized. So acid is completely neutralized. So in the resulting solution, only base under ml ammonium hydroxide and salt will be remaining under ml. Salt will be there. Kindly think of. So what salt it is there? A weak base, weak base, and the salt of strong acid, ammonium chloride. That's why it is the basic buffer. So come for the current answer we identified. Just if you go for B now. 100 ml of 0.1 m, 100 ml of 0.1 sodium hydroxide, both are neutralized, zero, neutral. 50 ml of 0.1 m sodium hydroxide, 25 ml of 0.1 acetic acid, kindly follow. 50 ml, 25 ml will be neutralized weak acid, so remaining will be strong base. Strong base will not give a buffer solution. Then let me take fourth one, 100 ml of acetic acid, 100 ml of 0.1. Sodium hydroxide, both 100 ml neutralized, again no here. So option A is the correct answer. My dear students, I hope you have understood. So I have come for the conclusion. So thank you very much for the kind cooperation you have given for me so far. And if you are uh, first time you are looking my video in YouTube, I congratulate you. I request you also, please click like and subscribe button also share with your friends let them also enjoy so this neat chemistry by dr r gunasegaran channel i was started in order to help poor students of india you know our country is a poor country there are families they cannot even send the people to schools the only government school there are there are people who are just for the lunch they are going for school. So such a country. So if really students who are poor, if they want to study, so I want to help my part, chemistry, so that not only in board examination, but also NEET if they are aiming. So I am want to help you. 
help your poor students so that's why i started this channel so even though i started 3 months back i have completed my theory full i am now discussing the questions so nearly 10 to 10 months to 1 year it will take i will complete all my question discussions so please inform this information to all your friends you should reach all students so that my aim will be fulfilled all poor students should get this benefit so another important information i want to give for students who are studying plus 1 plus 2 and plus 1 completed for you i have a good news we are running a coaching center vetri coaching center in in pondicherry near bus stand for the last 20 years and the professor having phd degree and more than 20 to 30 years of experience in iit and medical coaching her handling classes the vetri daughters achievement for the last 20 years if you enter our vetri daughters in the website in the achievement column if you enter you can see every year how many students and uh, who are all the point their rank everything we all information it is given including the inaugurated by our uh, cm rangasamy honorable cm rangasamy please follow so everything is there so let me point out one or two important achievement In 2003, one of our student, R. Sinwath Raghavan from Patrick School, came All India First Rank in Pondicherry. All India First Rank from Pondicherry. That means nearly more than 10 lakhs people have written. He he stood first. He said, "How? What have you? Uh, you, you know, no, you may unimaginary the achievement done by Vetri Coaching Center in 2003 within three years." When, uh, from the starting and most important another achievement is for the last 20 years if you take the record except to one or two years all the remaining years our student got first rank you can verify from the again photograph is there name is there school name is there everything is there you can verify also third achievement every year minimum 10 to 15 students are joining jipmer through our coaching center 150 to 200 students are joining other medical colleges through government quota by merit few students are joining iit hundreds of students joining at the all india that is engineering other engineering colleges the most important feature of vetri daughters i want to give because three most important feature which are not available in other online coaching it is available in vetri daughters our the vetri daughters is very very low cost only 10000 rupees per year only 10000 rupees per year you can handle how how many lesson we have 200 video lesson we have 200 unit test we have you suppose we have chemistry we have 30 units means 30 into 2 60 test will be unit test will be there so when you write unit by unit after finishing 30 units you will be ready to face neat examination minimum 650 to 700 you will get this is the challenge so let me give the criteria importance there so when you are attending the test kindly follow there is the option is there that is the, the, when you see the video lesson taken by the professor of the doctor degree full of notes what way i am discussing the question and theory same way it will be there physics chemistry botany zoology everything with there including english maths kindly follow what is there so if you go for your test click attempt immediate window will open it will ask you are you ready it is informing you there are 45 question 45 minutes one question for four marks correct answer four wrong answer four everything then if you click take a rough notebook and pen and click immediately window will open in the window you can see the question number 1 option a b c d and below that again there is a clock is running and below the clock there is a three menu center is complete right side next left side reverse next you go for next question next question like that if you want to come back reverse and another most important information is also there in the test below that there is 1 to 45 question number will be in yellow color the what is the interest suppose you are you are taking now 
first is kindly follow you are having a window in the window you can see question number one option a option b option c option d clock is there and again you are having the menu three menus here one to forty five questions will be there yellow color it will be in yellow color so when you click yes if it is the correct answer immediately the yellow color of one will change into green color so time also we can see 45 when you start the uh, test from 45 to come down 44.59 54.58 57 uh, like that will come up to zero after when it is reaching zero automatically window will close immediately you will get you can see the marks even if you not complete you even if you have not given complete it will automatically close so you have to do complete please follow this is the very important so on the so for example no 45 minutes after 20 minutes you can assess what you can assess how many question i have attended how many question i have not attended so time how much time is required us comparative you can do fast or you can do slow you can adjust your time normally kindly follow normally 1 minute is given for one question totally for each subject so what you have the, please follow this is the most important information to you students good students are weak students so you have to save time from botany and zoology 45 minutes not required for botany 45 minutes not required for zoology minimum you can save for to 15 minutes 15 minutes in each that 15 minutes you can use for extra for physics and chemistry of an hour because there are problems you can use okay after this complete all the fortify click complete immediately window will open in the window you can see the marks 140 by 100 please follow 140 by 100 so you are getting only 140 by 100 that means 40 marks you are losing you want to verify so please follow this facility is not available in in on other online coaching only in vitae data we have so when you click review menu there is a review review menu it is next to mark question number 1 will open a b c d will be there and correct answer will be in yellow color below that there is a video solution so your answer will be in blue color please follow suppose we a click a blue b click b blue c click c blue So after that, what you can see, you open this question. That is the review you want to see. If B and your correct answer, yellow color is same, your answer is right. If it is different, your answer is wrong. So if you want to for, go for explanation, click the video. The professor with the doctorate degree and twenty to thirty years of experience will take class like a classroom. He will be standing in front of the board. in the board you can see the question you see the option then he will explain the theory no what way i am explaining the question no same way he will explain everything what topic what sub topic how to array how to order the tricks follow you have everything you will explain so that is the most important for each and every question we have a video solution so it is a low cost i told you only 10000 so if anybody interested join with your daughters one year you pay 10000 in the name of sandhi director vetti coaching center in the indian bank account number 7127194711 ifc code idb000p134 cell number 9894176425 this is my whatsapp number also thank you very much for the kind cooperation see you again in my next topic bye